What? Nintendo label explains the R feel as Oculus launches Quest. The Oculus Quest, a wireless, hands-free, all-in-one VR headset, launches Tuesday, May 21st, prompting Nintendo to go to bat for its own self-assembly virtual reality fit for the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Lego director Tsubasa Takaguchi presents a brief four-minute explainer for the Nintendo Switch's VR fit, showing how it can be used to make and play a variety of VR games. The Whistle Stop Tour covers creating simple VR games using the Six Toy-Con Garage software, sampling some of the 64 Nintendo made games within the VR Plaza compilation, and how some of the self-assembly Toy-Con controller mounts work. He also demonstrates how each of the VR slot games can be made to show their inner working, allowing players to sleep and edit game rules as curiosity and ingenuity to take. Building on the self-assembly car travels to fly through Google's cardboard line, the Dot 99, T2,000, Nintendo Lego Toy-Con VR kit works with the T16,000, Nintendo Switch console. It is not hands-free users have to hold the VR kit up to their eyes, with Nintendo selling various additional console housings that look like a camera, bird, blaster, and even an elephant. By contrast, the Oculus Quest, a product of Facebook VR arm, starts at 221.000 and does not need a sturdy PC or smartphone for the Nintendo Switch to power it, so users should not expect to experiment with making their own games. The battery-powered Quest, which has a head strap and boasts a higher definition display, comes with built-in sensors for room-scale tracking and a pair of handheld Oculus Touch controllers. Further up the ladder, virtual reality options include the PlayStation 4, FPS VR, P16,000, and the HTC Vive, 2, 399, around P26,100 to P73,300, Oculus Rift S, around P24,000, and Valve Index, Python, Around P26,100 to P52,300, ranges for sufficiently power, full. Related stories, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.